Hello students, today you're going to take digital Cornell notes on pressure. Go ahead and set up your notebook, and then when you're ready, let's begin. All right, let's begin for number one. For number one, write pressure. Pressure is a force on an object because of a fluid. For these videos, I usually come up with the first one, and you have to come up with the rest. Um, this is the one that you don't have to draw the pictures. It's just Cornell notes, which we do in class uh, typically. So for number one, you can write what is pressure or what causes pressure. All right, let's look at a picture. Let's look at pressure in water. And we already talked about uh, pressure in air in another lesson. But if you look at water, as you dive deeper into the ocean, the pressure increases because there is more water overhead. So the deeper you go, the more fluid there is on top of you. So there's going to be more pressure. So at the bottom where the Titanic is sunk, or if you're in a submarine, there's going to be more pressure, 110,000 kPa, which is Pascal units, because there's more fluid. So pressures are caused by fluids. Okay, when you're done with number one, let's move on to number two. Pressure is measured in Pascals. Pascals are the same as one Newton, which remembers a unit of force per meter squared. Go ahead and come up with your question for two. Are you ready to look at the picture? Let's look at the picture. So this is a barometer, and barometers you measure in Pascals. Basically, it has like springs inside, and when the atmospheric pressure or the air squishes on it, it's going to move the needle back and forth. And um, that's how we can tell how much air or water pressure there is because the pressure causes the springs to coil or uncoil depending on how much pressure. So over here, there's a lot of pressure, and over here, there'll be a little pressure. So again, pressures are measured in Pascals. Okay, if you're ready, let's move on to number three. If not, pause the video here. All right, number three. The amount of pressure you exert depends on the area over which you exert a force. So area affects pressure. Go ahead and think of your question for three. Okay, now let's look at a picture. If you've ever been in the snow with your regular shoes, sometimes have you noticed that your shoes sink into the snow? But if you use a special kind of shoe called a snowshoe, the area has increased, so the amount of pressure you're exerting downward has changed because of the larger area. So you won't sink into the snow as much. So again, the main idea for three is that pressure is affected by area. Okay, moving on to four, the last idea for today. A fluid. Fluids are any material that can easily flow or move and can change shape. Usually they're liquids or gases. So let's look at a picture of a fluid and then you can come up with your question. Water would be a fluid. Um, honey, because it flows, would be a fluid. But like I said, gases such as nitrogen and oxygen are also considered fluids. So here are some examples. Water, air, oil. So all of these are fluids. Go ahead and write down your uh, question for four, and then write your summary and your advanced question. When you're done, close this video and move on to the next step. Have a great day.